acoustic of the main hall. Each of them is unique in its own way. Everything here is really very delicious. Very lucky! Yeah, we didn't plan for this. This is the only house which Gaudi received an award during his lifetime. It's a brand new morning here in Barcelona and today we start our day outside of the Barcelona Cathedral. It is a Gothic design cathedral. We find it very interesting that this cathedral has 200 gargoyles. They are a representation of evil spirits and witches. It's not something you would like on a church, but yeah, they are there. And there are 200 gargoyles. Mm. We probably won't be heading in, but if you have the time, you can head in. There's an admission fee to head into the cathedral. So we will be now going to our next attraction and we will see you when we get there. Bye-bye. After a short 5 minutes walk from the Barcelona Cathedral, behind us, this six-arm lamppost is a lamppost designed by the famous Gaudi. And this was designed by Gaudi when he was a fresh grad. The unique thing about this lamppost is that not only was it very nicely designed, it is also very durable and requires very little maintenance. And it further proves that Gaudi is a genius architect as well as a very very good designer. Mm. There's actually several lampposts in this square and these two here really stands out because it has the most lamps and it has some red iron borders. So Gaudi actually designed quite a lot of lampposts but only four of them remain today. So two of them are here and the other two is actually in an area called Pla di Pola. <laughs> The reason why we chose this instead of the other two is because this has six lamps and the other two only have three lamps. This is also very near one of the Gaudi's building called the Guay's Palace. So on the way there or on the way back, you can actually visit this lamppost. And we will be heading to our next Gaudi attraction and we will see you when we get there. Palace Square! We are now at another attraction here in Barcelona that is designed by Gaudi. This is the Guay Palace and we actually went in just now to visit this attraction. So I feel that this building is a little bit more practical. It's not as extravagantly designed as the rest of the buildings that we have visited. And maybe it's because it's one of his initial design, that's why it's not so lavish and extravagant. I feel that the highlight of the building is at the central reception room because it has a magnificent acoustic. You can actually experience it every 30 minutes. Yeah, they will play different music while you're there and you can feel the acoustic of the main hall. It is quite an experience. The main hall at the top is a dome, so I guess it helps with the acoustics. Same as the Casa Batliu. Another highlight of the building is at the top of the building. There are 14 chimneys and they are uniquely designed. Mm. Even those that are made of brick, they seem like they are of the same design, but actually they are not. Each of them is unique in its own way. I guess the most iconic one for us is one that resembles a tree. Yes. Mm. There's also a rainbow one which is quite nice. And we actually bought a souvenir, which is the chimney that looks like a tree. Yeah. It's a very nice place to be at, but like the Casa Batleo, the ventilation is not as good. And there's very few aircon inside, so it gets a little bit hot during summer. So something to take note of. Especially with the crowd, it may actually spoil your experience. The audio guide comes with the admission ticket, so you can either download it on your phone before you enter the attraction or you can actually pick up a free audio guide device. It helps with the understanding of the design. So next up, we'll be heading to another attraction and we will see you when we get there. Bye-bye! Recently, we haven't been doing a lot of food review because we didn't really eat a lot of nice food. For this, we decided that we have to do a review and this is Kempai Sano and it is a restaurant we found while searching for things to eat here at Barcelona. We came here at 12pm sharp and we were among the first few customers to enter the store and since then, the store became really very crowded. We actually researched that the pork sausage here is very nice 
but we ended up buying quite a lot of stuff while we were here. We bought some kind of a burger with pork sausage. We bought another burger with have various kind of pork cuts. So it has a bacon and pork loin and as well as some special sauce which is really very very good. I like the bun a lot because it's very crispy on the outside. Then we also bought a croquette which is also really good. Everything here is really very delicious and while we were in the restaurant we noticed that everybody bought a bottle of their rosé and it seems that it is named after their shop so we decided not to miss out on it and it really goes really well with the sandwiches as well as the croquette. So if you are in Barcelona, definitely stop by this place. They serve really very really fast for the amount of crop they have, they actually serve really very quickly. And I feel that most importantly, the price is very reasonable. Yeah, it's not really very expensive. It's quite affordable for the quality of the food. And in total, it only cost us about 14 euros for mm. the meal. Definitely, if you are nearby, stop by and visit this restaurant. It's open at 12 p.m. Until 10 p.m. Okay, so now that we are done having our lunch, we will be heading to our next attraction and we'll see you when we get there. Bye-bye! And so while we were walking to the bus stop to see the bus to our next attraction, we actually realized that we are in Thai Di Palau. Remember just now we mentioned that the other Gaudi lamppost is actually here. This is the three arm lamppost and there's two here. Very lucky! Yeah, we didn't plan for this. We just walked by and we saw a sign that says that this is the area and we decided to check it out. Behind us is the very last Gaudi building that we will be visiting here in Barcelona and this is called Casa Calvet. Unfortunately, it is not open for visitors because it's a private residence and so you can only take the exterior. This building was built for a textile manufacturer. The ground floor and the first floor were shop lots and the upper floors are the private residences. Gaudi filled the building with details that refer to his client. For example, the initial C at the front door, which represents the initial of his client, Calvert, and also the cotton bobbins. Calvert actually has a hobby on picking mushrooms. So the balcony is actually a shape of mushrooms. This Casa Calvert is very special in the sense that this is the only house which Gaudi received an award during his lifetime. The award was the most beautiful building awarded by the Barcelona City Council in year 1900. To our surprise, the facade looks quite untypical for Gaudi because they are symmetric and a lot of straight lines. Okay, next up is our very last attraction in Barcelona and we will see you when we get there. Bye-bye! Behind us is our very last attraction here in Barcelona. This is the Triumphant Arc of Barcelona. You can already admire this arc from afar. But if you have extra time, come near to the arc because you can see a lot of detailed design of the arc. Mm. It is built using red bricks and you can see various sculptures at the top and they are all very well maintained. Definitely a place not to be missed if you are in Barcelona. So this concludes our video on Barcelona and we will see you in our next video. Bye bye! bye, -bye.